Hello, hello, my people. It's your girl Marion, and of course, you know you're watching Naturally Marion. So today I decided to do a simple makeup glam on this beautiful lady, and I decided to show you people the process. Please enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming it, even though it wasn't intentional, but I just thought I should just do it and then drop it for you people. So I go in my micellar water first to clean the face because the face you need a clear canvas, you need a clear skin before you start your product application. Then the second thing I'll apply is my primer, sorry my moisturizer. So you moisturize the skin first before you you know start applying product. After that, I apply my primer. I'm going to leave all the product that I use on the description box. So make sure you check it out so after that i'll blend make sure you blend everything in like make sure everything sinks into the skin so the next thing will be my foundation just make sure you blend your foundation properly i decided see i think my light was deceiving me to be honest but when you keep watching the video you see that everything you know came back together i got um the foundation i used was not her shade because it was giving a yellow um on that tune foundation and that was what was supposed to be so but at the end of the video everything came out on point so watch this video and see so make sure you blend in your foundation i'm using a blending brush make sure you blend in your foundation properly the thing with makeup is blending if you blend if your blending game is on point your makeup will be on point right you don't even need to edit anything everything will sit well if your blending game is good so i go in with my contour i'm using i actually use a um, zikel foundation again i'm going to drop all the products that i use on the description box so please make sure you check it so i go in with my blush i'm actually using a lipstick and eyeshadow palette from zikel like i said their products are very good and very affordable so you don't need to break a bank to do makeup right so if you're waiting for expensive product before you start your makeup business or start makeup on yourself please i am here this is a sign that you don't need expensive products to start there are nigerian brands that are very affordable you can start with okay the next thing i'm going in with my concealer i'm actually using zikel foundation again again i am telling you if you don't have money to buy a lot of products trust me you can manage what you have and it will come out really nice so i'm using zikel foundation as my concealer i am going to draw um, what was it called? everything on the description box so yes if you cannot afford to buy foundation and concealer at the same time please buy foundation and trust me it will do a good job for you so i'm trying to highlight all her features so that it can come up properly all right so after that i go in i blend with my beauty blender make sure your beauty blender is down please i see people um what's it called um use hard and dry beauty blender please your product will not blend well if your beauty blender is hard and dry so make sure it is damp not too what I, I wanted to say not too watery you shouldn't have so much water on it just you know make sure you squeeze all the water out and it's damp so that you can use it to blend perfectly so if you noticed i'm sorry that i'm covering my hands on the other end if you notice i'm just dapping in the products like i'm pushing the product into the skin but there are people that i see is as if they are fighting with the foundation they are fighting with the beauty blender it's not meant to be like that please be gentle with it okay just dab it into your skin no be fight don't be you know scrubbing it all over your face it's not meant to be scrubbed you just dab 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 that's how you get your product so once I'm done with that, I go in with my foundation brush again that I used for the concealer too. And then I smoothen in the area that has like, it's not a perfect definition. I just smoothen it out you know, so that there will be no harsh line between the concealer and the foundation. I just smoothen it. So after that is done, I go in with my Odogu Seal It Spray to seal everything in so that the makeup can last long. So and then I just fan it a bit so that everything can go in. And then I go in my Mirac um, setting powder. I'm going to 
drop everything on the description box i'm still saying it. i'm going to drop everything so please make sure you check the description box so that you can get everything so if you noticed in this video i'm only doing one side of the face and then i'm going to do the other side of um camera that's because my phone camera space is full and i really do not want a situation where i will film halfway and then there is no space anymore so i just do half face continue the rest offline and then you know continue like that so now i go in with my eyeshadow primer eyeshadow primer so i decided to try this um eyeshadow before um what's it called brows today and i i am loving it i feel like it's my new go-to process anyways i think i'm going to try the other process and show you guys so that you decide for yourself which one you like so i'm using powder for her crease this thing to just blend it out okay so you just blend that out so it will look really natural and then from the nose part to you know the outer part of your eyeshadow i'm using v beauty powder palette to do that it's very affordable so for the eyeshadow i go in with my still my what's it called my zikel um eyeshadow palette the one that has the lipstick that i use for blush so yeah you see two in one to achieve everything that you want you can use it for blush you can use it for eyeshadow you can use it for lipstick amazing right so i go with an orange eyeshadow because i just want a very sweet subtle you know a very light orange i'm not really good with colors but i'm sure that's orange i beg <laughs> so this eyeshadow is not named so i might not be able to tell you what name exactly on the eyeshadow so yes i then i go in with my almighty and then for the brows i'm using almighty david's pencil like i said you don't have to break the bank okay so if you notice the pencil is very light like i'm holding it very light weighted you don't have to do heavy strokes you need your brows looking as natural as possible so i go in with that stroke and then i'm done and then i go in with my concealer to conceal the eyeshadow like i said again i'm still using foundation to conceal to conceal her what's it called her eyebrow i like i said you don't have to break a bank to achieve a sweet makeup look okay even for business or personal you don't have to break a bank to do that all right if you cannot afford to buy concealer and foundation at the same time then just buy foundation and trust me to sell for both but it's good to have concealer too because their pigments are very nice but for the now if foundation is what you can afford then you can work with it from i learned from somebody a professional the person i learned makeup from she uses foundation to conceal all her things like going in with a blending brush to just blend out the foundation and or the concealer whatever it is that you use so for my lip i am so sorry nepa took light so i started the lip before they brought it back and this is how far gone we are so i use david's pencil to line her outer lips and then use a darker shade of pencil again still david to still you know highlight the outer part again and then i still went in with the same zikel lip palette and voila and then i added our lip gloss and that's our eye so i'm going in now with mascara to highlight her eyelashes because we're not using eyelashes here so i just want to make sure that her lashes pop out and then for her under eyes the dark part i used a uh, multiple um pencil just a dark shade pencil i've forgotten the name but i'll put it on the description box if i see it there so this is the same i'm going back with blush and i'm still using the same lipstick palette lipstick and eyeshadow palette for the blush i mean look at the face sorry oh my light was casting shadows I, i'm still struggling with you know light setting and all so i still going back with my seal it spray to just seal everything so that the makeup is not going anywhere and then this is what we have look at that beauty i mean look at this makeup 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you on my next video please don't forget to subscribe i love you share to your enemies share to your friends share to your neighbors share to your girlfriends share to your boyfriends to share to their side chicks share to your husband to share to their side chicks i'm just playing but please share and like and subscribe and comment thank you so much for watching bye